Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom, back with a new week of my food prep. Now I'm starting off by doing some little containers and baggies of nuts from Trader Joe's. I'm using almonds, pecans, and some pumpkin spice, pumpkin seeds. And these are really great for us to grab on the go or pack in my husband's lunch. And it really, really satisfies me after the gym when I'm starving. I just find for me personally, when I have pre-portioned, ready-to-eat items, I'm more likely to grab for them than make an unhealthier choice. So I have these ready to go for the week. I have an entire playlist of these food prep videos, which I'll link down below, and hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so the next thing I did this week for my food prep was another batch of muffins. I really liked uh, the pumpkin muffins I did last week. Uh, they came really in handy just to eat in the morning with a cup of coffee before I was running out the door to bring Grady to school. My husband loved um, eating them for snack with his lunch. So anyways, um, I took a little help from the store as I always do when I bake 90% of the time and made the Pillsbury Cinnamon Swirl Muffin Mix. Uh, it actually comes with like a white uh, icing. So I'm going to go ahead and drizzle that on here. I'm just going to let these cool down. Um, I did make the jumbo, <clears throat> I have a jumbo muffin pan. I'll see if I can find it on Amazon, and if I can, I'll link it down below. Um, so instead of 12, like, standard size muffins, it made 10 larger ones. It's almost like, I don't know, it almost feels like a muffin and a half per muffin. But anyways, I'll see if I can link that down below. Otherwise, you could probably just Google, like, jumbo muffin pan. Um, they're fairly easy to find online, not so much in the store. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and drizzle this on, let these finish cooling, throw them in a Ziploc bag, and then again, I'll have them to start my week tomorrow on men Monday to have for breakfast and to pack for Matt for lunch. Okay, so after the muffins, I decided to get my cold stuff done. Uh, so the first thing I did was some ants on a log, which is, as you guys know, if you're like me and grew up eating these, celery with peanut butter, I used crunchy peanut butter. And I did not have any normal, like, regular raisins, so I just used craisins. And I actually ate a few, and they're really good. Um, and these containers, I get questions about them. They are from Walmart. Uh, they're just the Rubbermaid brand. Um, I don't know how many ounces they are, but they're pretty decent size. They're sort of long and flat. Um, just kind of for size reference, you could fit like two standard size, like regular sandwiches in here side by side, but they're not very tall. So I have a bunch of uh, celery and peanut butter ants on a log here. Again, I ate a couple. My husband ate a couple. They're really good just to grab and go and pack on my husband's lunch. I have a container of strawberries that I just rinsed, and then I cut the top off, sliced them in half, so those are ready to portion out for lunches. And then I did a good-sized batch of my chicken salad. I did share my entire chicken salad sort of process in a, in a um, previous uh, food prep video, so I'll link that down below. I'll also link my entire food prep playlist down below, and I'll continue to add to that playlist as time goes on and I have more of these videos. But yeah, really easy chicken salad. If you guys saw that video, I do it very simple. Some red onion, some celery, uh, some black pepper, some garlic powder, salt, and then some mayo. So this is really, really packed in. So I'll be able to get a nice, um, a good amount of sandwiches and pack these for my husband's lunch with some crackers. So yeah, moving right along, I'm gonna work, work on some loaded baked potatoes next and then I'm going to do a batch of stuffed pepper soup in the crock pot as well. I want to give some to my husband for lunch this week in his thermos and then have some for myself as well for lunches. So I'm moving along doing pretty good so see you guys a little bit later. All right guys so next I'm doing some uh, loaded baked potatoes. Uh, these are six large potatoes. I know I say it all the time it's so hard to tell on camera how big things are. Um, but these are very, these are big potatoes. So I have six big potatoes. I poked holes in all of them and then I've rubbed them all down with olive oil, salt and pepper on all sides and corners. I tried to rub them down as best I could. 
I'm gonna bake them at a 400 degree preheated oven. My oven is preheating right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bake these and then split them and then I'm gonna stuff them with cheese, chives, and some bacon bits. Um, and then I'll have, um, my husband and I will have one each tonight with our dinner and then I'll have four for the week uh, that I can have as like a side dish with a salad for lunch or something like that. Um, but I love, love, love potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead, get these in the oven and just keep moving along. So I actually ended up losing somehow or deleting the footage of the final product of these potatoes, unfortunately. So I apologize for that um, because I did, I did have a clip of a final product. But anyways, probably not the first time or the last. So they did come out really good. We enjoyed them all week long for dinners and I had a couple for lunch. And we're going to move on now after this and make my stuffed pepper soup. Alright guys, so stuffed pepper soup I have in my crock pot. I'll give you a quick peek. And uh, it's going to just cook for a handful of hours. And then this will be good to go for the week. Of course, I will show you what it looks like when it's all done because I have to add the rice later. And if you are looking for this recipe, it will be up on my channel next week. Uh, it's just a stuffed pepper soup recipe. Um, and again, as you can see, it's in the crock pot. So if you are looking to make this recipe, it'll be up on my channel next week. So no worries. All right, guys, so the soup has cooled off, and I have two containers of these, um, of this size. I think this is about a quart and a half container, but I have one in the fridge and left one out to show you what it looks like when it's cooled, and I'm going to just use it for a couple lunches for myself during the week, and then I think I mentioned earlier I'm going to pack Matt some for his lunch um, in his thermos one day for the week. But yeah, this was my food prep for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. I'll also link my entire playlist of these videos in the description box below, and I'll continue to add to them the more that I make. So have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.